Tractor Tales comes to us this week from the Farm Science Review in Ohio. There we met a collector who showed off his 1956 Ferguson 35. This is Ferguson uh, 35. Uh, this is 56 model. Uh, they came out in the early uh, uh, 1954 and they were made up through 1957. And the earlier ones were painted up like this one, green and gray. And in 1957 they were painted the beige and gray color of the 40s. Ferguson was an English inventor and he just picked gray because that's he thought that was a good utilitarian color and they were all painted that way up through well the end of 56 and then they realized that to compete in a modern tractor market people wanted more colors wanted color schemes because the original Ferguson's were just all gray you know everything was gray no chrome hardly any at all and very simple utility tractor and uh, the market began to change in the middle 50s with a lot of competition from the other companies and so colors became important and eventually these all became by 1958, Massey Ferguson's, they were red and gray. Uh, uh, they still kept the 35 insignia, and they were actually still called the Ferguson 35 clear up to about 1961, even after the amalgamation of Massey Ferguson. This particular model has a Continental Z134, uh, and they used that in a lot of their different tractor models. That was also used in the Ferguson F40. This came down out of Canada. That was a one owner tractor. A guy was a potato farmer up there. Uh, I was lucky enough to get it from the original owner, and it was the sheet metal was in perfect condition. We repainted the motor needed work because it had a lot of dust damage in it. The, the motor's been rebuilt, but the sheet metal's pretty much you know the way it was originally. It was a well cared for machine. In 1953, Massey Harris bought Ferguson and became the number two tractor seller behind International Harvester. 